Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Up in Orlando for a work conference, and anytime I'm up in Orlando, I like to come to Academy because we just don't have them where I live. Until now, because we have an Academy. So this store opened yesterday, Sunday, and terrible timing for a store to open with Hurricane um, Milton bearing down on us. But we're here to check it out. There was a sale on some ammo up at the one in Orlando. Wondering if that's the case down here. We're gonna find out, pick up some nine millimeter. That's the sale, plenty of it. I didn't get any up there because I wanted to get some 124 grain, so I'm gonna have to look around for that. Otherwise, I'll just get 115 grain because that's the cheapest price that I've seen in a really long time. Let's look around. Just like when that sportsman warehouse opened up, everything super, super organized, tags everywhere, but I don't see any 124 grain, so we'll have to pick up some of the 115 grain and I might pick up a couple other things because there is a coupon. We'll see if it works on ammo. But um, yeah, a couple things that I want to try. Like, uh, where is it? Some of this PRC Hunter. Everyday value on brass, 9mm, $12.99. That's a pretty good deal. I think that's cheaper than the Herders at Bass Pro and there's plenty of it. Decent selection of optics, got a lot of rifles, got a decent amount of pistols, but uh, just another option to ship to store and uh, take advantage of some sales and whatnot. So it's nice to have one close. Well, I kind of feel like I robbed the joint because I had a 20% off coupon because I signed up for text messaging alerts on the store opening. So the Blazer was $11.99 after $3 off and then another $2.40 off. So that's less than $10 a box for the Blazer. Should have gotten more. We'll try out the Monarch ammo and I got the uh, Hornady XTP. So we'll do the FTX versus the XTP 357 mag. So I'm going to show you some footage from when I went to Bass Pro the other day on the way home up in Tampa. Not, look, not looking too good up there. I'm at the Bass Pro up here in Tampa. I have not been here since COVID a couple of years ago. Let's go see what they got. Well, we have uh, eventual Hurricane Milton going to be bearing down on this uh, Florida West Coast. And I haven't seen lines to get into Bass Pro in years and years. And I was like, why is there a line? And then I remembered, they're all out of generators now. Glad I have my in-ground generator. Let's go check the ammo section. That is just insane. Pretty standard stuff. We got 223 and 243. I mean, there's a ton of stuff. There has been a ton of stuff for years and years now. The shortages are over. It just comes down to how much do you want to pay? Do you want to pay 143 for a 338 Lapua? 300 Remington Ultra Mag? 300 Win Mag? So, it just depends on how much you want to pay. Plenty of it though. Plenty in the pistol section also. Uh, they even got some 357 SIG. Love to see it, hate to see the price. But um, decent selection. I do need these Federal Punch. I'll pay a couple dollars more, but it's gonna save me a trip or a online order of paying for shipping. So we'll just get them here. You got 10 millimeter, 200 grain bear loads. And then uh, get some regular 10 millimeter, plenty of 357, plenty of um, nine millimeter hollow points, 380. They even got some 25 auto and 32 auto here. 380, 50 grain, ultralight, so lots of options. And then for all you 410 fans, they've got plenty of 410. Plenty of shotgun. Prices 
still up, but still down from where it used to be. Back at the house, recap time. I don't know if you've heard, I don't know if uh, it's been on the news, but there's a hurricane that's coming to the west coast of Florida. It'll be here in a few days. It's uh, Tuesday morning when I'm recording this. I'll probably put this video out in the evening and it should be here Wednesday night, Thursday morning. So I fully anticipate I'm working nights this week, so I have to be at the hospital because that is my job. So I'm going to the hospital today for 5 p.m. and we'll be locked down until the all clear comes through. And that'll probably be either Thursday night or Friday morning. I'm fully anticipating being at the hospital until Friday morning when we are allowed to go home. So truly, the uh, until you've been in this type of situation, um, when you've done all your prep, you're all ready to go, businesses are closed, you don't wanna go out and waste gas, it is truly the calm before the storm. And there's just nothing to do other than sit at home and wait. Um, so I was up in Fort Myers because I'm working this week and uh, they have an academy there now. I went to Orlando over the weekend and I like to go to the academy when I'm up there because they just don't have one down here. And I went in there and I didn't wind up getting anything, but um, I went to the Bass Pro on the way home and then I wanted to go to the academy on Sunday, but timing just didn't work out. And I went yesterday in between my shifts and brand new, like spanking new, uh, ton of firearms, the ammo was all organized, the shelves were full, and I had a pretty good sale. And since I signed up for alerts ahead of time, I got a 20% off coupon on my entire purchase. So I bought a bunch of nine millimeter, as I mentioned, and it wound up coming out to like um, 960 a box for this blazer. And that is a heck of a deal. I should have bought some more, but I have a lot of nine millimeter and um, this will be a nice little range session. So I got five boxes of the Blazer 115 grain. I, I saw the sale up in Orlando, but I didn't want to get it because I wanted to see if the one down here had the 124 grain and they didn't have any 124 grain. So not less than $10 for a box of nine millimeter. I'll take that any day of the week, especially in 2024. I also got some of the Monarch everyday value 12.99. So that's a pretty good deal. I believe that's cheaper than the herders at Bass Pro. So I got three boxes. We'll have a little range session. We'll see how it goes. I don't remember who makes this. Oh, made in Turkey, Turkish ammo. So um, we'll try that. And this is brass case. It's not that Monarch steel case. So that's the one thing you got to be careful of when you buy Monarch because they have steel case. And I think that those show up as orange steel, but um, yeah, 12.99. It's a good price for this day and age. Um, a couple weeks ago, I bought some AAC 77 grain 223, or this is 556, but uh, this was 1099 a box. And I'm really starting to think about using this in the Patriot Games versus a 55 grain. When I shot this in that other video that I made with um, match ammo, is it worth it? the recoil significantly less because it was traveling at 2,400 feet per second. So I bought a bunch of this. I'm gonna do, I took it to the range and I did a suppressed versus unsuppressed test. I haven't had a chance to look at that footage. I'll do that while I'm stuck at the hospital. But um, after that, obviously the range is closed right now because of all the rain that we've had and we're forecasted to get up to 10 inches of rain down here. So we got to see how the range dries out and whatnot, how much it's affected. But I want to do an accuracy test with this, get some groupings. Um, the speeds, it says 2,700 feet per second, but I think it was in the 2,500s when I was testing it out at the range. Anyway, um, like 55 cents per round for match grade ammo is pretty good because uh, it is closer to a dollar a round. Uh, the best one that I've tested so far is the PPU. And um, I've got some Hornady to test and I just haven't gotten around to that yet. So I bought 10 boxes. I only have nine here because I shot one. So um, we'll see if this is worth it. And cause that's a really good price for match ammo. A couple other things that I've picked up along the way. Um, like I said, I did a spreadsheet and I didn't have federal punch in nine millimeter. So this is 124 grain federal punch. And we're gonna test this out soon. Need to get some new gel, but um, 
Doesn't quite have the look of the HSTs. Kind of looks more like a Winchester silver tip, but we'll see. We'll test that, see how, see how it does. Um, when I drove to Georgia for Boy Scout summer camp, I stopped at a store in Georgia off of 75. I don't know if I put this in another video, but um, they had this honey badger, nine millimeter honey badger. And it is 100, it's 100 grain plus P. So honey badger, 100 grain plus P. Get a load of that projectile. That looks like that G9 defense that I tested. And um, I'm interested to see what this does in a nine millimeter. So we're gonna test that as soon as we can get out to the range. A lot of this depends on getting back out. I really wanted to go this week and do a lot of tests and make a lot of videos, but you make plans and God laughs. And then um, same store in Georgia, um, I finally found some spear gold dot. This is 22355 grain and it's a self-defense round and this box is still sealed, but um, you can see, you can see right there on the corner here, oop, this corner, what that projectile might look like because all of the self-defense 223s that I've tested so far, they all fragment because they're traveling so fast. This is probably no different traveling probably pretty fast. So we'll test this out again when we can get to the range. And then the last thing that I picked up at Academy, I only see these at Academy and that's the Hornady Black, um, especially the handgun rounds. They always have the XTP there. So this is Hornady Black 125 grain XTP. And I'm gonna do a test that compares this XTP round to the FTX round, the critical defense, because this one wound up being like $9 cheaper. So if it's cheaper and it works the same, obviously save some money. So um, that's it. It was a little ammo hunt and a couple things that I picked up over the past uh, few months. I'm headed to the hospital. Hopefully uh, we're going to be doing emergency surgeries only and nothing uh, Nothing that doesn't need to be done because we don't know what type of resources we're going to have after the hurricane passes through. That's going to do it for this one. I'll be just fine. Um, thank you for all your well wishes in advance, but I'll be just fine. That's going to do it for this one. Like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.